Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Naomi and this channel is called the Easy QS channel. This is a channel where we help students uh, go through their notes, understand concepts that they couldn't have understood in class, and mostly we deal with building and civil engineering units. So in case you have any units that you would want us to discuss, this is the right channel. We do it for free using our videos. And in case you need private tutorials, you can always contact me via my email, which is in the description box. Maybe you have an assignment that is so hard for you, you can still contact me and I will help you. So uh, in this unit, we do mostly quantity surveying stuff and also some civil engineering. And nowadays we are doing mathematics. So in case you have any hardship in all these units, check out for our videos and uh, in case you have any feedback just write it in the comments section we'll be able to attend to it in case we do good videos in case we have been a blessing to you and in case we have areas or to improve on just tell us and we shall be uh, looking at your comments uh, we shall be doing live classes very soon and we would we would want you to join so that you can ask any questions that you could be having uh, we shall be doing the live classes for to all our subscribers so if you haven't subscribed uh, kindly subscribe so that you can be able to be able to ask questions and also to be responded to and also so that we can help you in your exams as we will need you to succeed so in today's video we are discussing about a construction project contract we have been talking about a contract what is a contract a contract is an agreement between two or more parties uh-huh whereby the parties agree about the undertaking something it is an agreement between two or more parties whereby the parties agrees upon about undertaking something the, when we enter into a contract when people enter into a contract there should be something that they want to undertake for example uh, a client wants to build a house a contractor wants to build for him so what they want to undertake is the construction projects now for a contract to be a contract it has to be uh, having some uh, it should be having some benefits to both parties for example the client will receive the house the contractor will be paid for the project okay so there are these things that determine the validity of a contract so that you can say whether a contract is valid or not because there are some contracts that we say they are not valid they are not, um, what, you go to accuse to take someone to court and you're told that contract was not valid. What are these, some of these things that uh, should be looked upon so that you can be sure that the contract that you're getting into, if you're a client and uh, someone else is a, uh, is a contractor, how do you know that a contract is valid? Number one, the contract is valid if the subject matter of the contract is legal. We cannot enter into a contract if the subject matter of the contract is illegal. Uh, people are entering into a contract to sell drugs or uh, to build on a, a land that is, we know very well does not belong to the client. It is government land or it is uh, stolen land. Then the contractor enters into a, co a contract with the client so that they can do something that is not legal. That contract is not valid aha uh -huh. the next thing that is the two parties the parties involved should be above 18 years in case you're getting into a contract with a minor maybe the contractor actually is a minor the contractor or the client is a minor then he's giving uh, work to a contractor then they sign a contract that contract is not valid if they go to court the, the judge will say that that contract was not valid because one of the parties is not of uh, the required age of 18 years. So the, both of both parties have to be of the required age. Uh, the third thing is that uh, the concept of the party to the contract must be genuine. And uh, about genuinity, it's almost about it's almost like legal. Uh, genuine is where we talk about stolen land. Uh -huh, that one could be not genuine. Uh -huh. if, in case. Uh, Something illegal is building using materials that could not be allowed in some area. 
that one we could term it as illegal genuine is where it's not we are not standing for the truth so these are two points one it must be genuine the second one it should be legal uh, the other one is that every contract must have norms when we write the contract it must be signed it must be sealed and it has to be delivered you see like a marriage contract we usually have the marriage certificate uh, the marriage certificate must have a seal it must be signed and it must be delivered all right so every contract must have those norms uh, the other part uh, the other uh, way to know if a contract is valid is that every contract must have an offer and an acceptance if the, we did not give an offer then uh, that contract and the other party did not accept it's not valid for example in building projects we have to advertise and say that we want to give this tender to any contractor that wants to be given to be awarded the tender then the contractor must fill in the bill of quantities so that he can accept then sign the form of tender to accept the pro the, the the offer so every contract must have an offer by the client then an acceptance by the other party every for the both parties Okay, for the construction project, an offer by the client, an acceptance from the uh, contractor. Then, uh, for, the const uh, for another point, for the validity of the contract, every contract must have a consideration. A consideration is the benefit. A benefit, uh, a client wants the project delivered. The main contractor wants to be paid by the contractor. So, every contract must have legal consideration. You cannot pay him with illegal stuff. So it must have a uh, legal consideration. So if you're told maybe to define what a contract is, maybe the best definition could be it's an, uh, it, a contract is an arrangement between two or more parties whereby all the parties, whereby uh, both all parties have a legal consideration because both of them expect something. And it should be of people of uh, above 18 years. Uh -huh. It should be p with people of sound mind. Because you cannot enter into a contract with a person who is not of sound mind. You get into a contract with a mad person. Or maybe you entered into a contract uh, with a drunk person. You The contractor, because he wanted the client just to sign the, 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 the document, he went and bought him a lot of beer. So that he can be, uh, he can be, maybe he could be high. Then he signed the contract. That person was not of sound mind at that moment. In case the client is able to sue that uh, that contract, he did not enter into it willingly. That contract will be termed as invalid. So uh, that point was left out. He should be of sound mind and he should be, he should not be drunk. Maybe, and it should not be also through a threat. Maybe you could have pointed a gun at him and told him to sign a contract. So uh, when entering into the contract, the two parties should be should should be of sober mind. They should be relaxed. Okay. So uh, within the definition of the contract, it should state that it should be legal. It should be having consideration, and maybe they should be having a sound mind. All right.